let f of x equal 3x inverse sine x. We want to find f prime of x, or the derivative function, then find f prime of 0 0.4, which will give us the slope of the tangent line at x equals 0 0.4. Looking at the function f of x, the first thing to recognize is that we have a product of two functions. We have f of x equals 3x times inverse sine x. So we'll have to apply that product rule which is given here below for review. Let's let our first function f be equal to 3x and our second function g be equal to inverse sine x. Now let's apply the product rule. f prime of x is equal to the first function 3x times the derivative of the second function with respect to x. So we'll have the derivative of inverse sine of x plus the second function inverse sine x times the derivative of the first function with respect to x. Now we'll find the derivative here and here and then simplify. So f prime of x is equal to 3x times the derivative of inverse sine x does not require the chain rule because this is not a composite function so we'll use this derivative formula here. There's no harm in applying this formula here that includes the chain rule. Notice how here u would be equal to x and therefore u prime would be equal to 1. So the result would be the same. We'll have 3x times 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared and then we have plus inverse sine x times the derivative of 3x with respect to x would just be 3. So simplifying f prime of x is equal to, here we have 3x divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared plus 3 inverse sine x. So this is the first part of the question. We found the derivative function. And now for the second part, we want to evaluate this derivative function at x equals 0 0.4. So f prime of 0 0.4 would be equal to 3 times 0 0.4 divided by the square root of 1 minus 0 0.4 squared and then plus 3 times inverse sine of 0 0.4. And now we'll go to the calculator and get our decimal approximation. Inverse sine of 0 0.4 is going to return an angle. We want this angle to be in radians. Let's make sure we're in radian mode. So we'll press the mode key and go down to the third row, highlight radian, and then press enter. Now we'll go back to the home screen. And now we'll determine this approximate function value We'll put this numerator in parentheses, so open parenthesis, 3 times 0.4, close parenthesis, divided by, we'll put this square root in parentheses, so we'll have open parenthesis, second x squared for square root, and then we have 1 minus 0.4 squared, so there's the square root, close parenthesis for the denominator, then we have plus 3 times inverse sine of 0 0.4, or just 0 0.4, and enter. So the approximate value is 2.5439, which is the approximate slope of the tangent line at x equals 0 0.4, which we'll now verify graphically. The original function is graphed here in blue. At x equals 0 0.4, this would be the point on the function. This red line is a tangent line at that point. And since f prime of 0 0.4 is approximately 2.5439, this is the slope of our tangent line. Notice how if we select the y-intercept of the line, this point here, 
and we go up approximately 2.5439 units roughly here and then over one notice how we find another point on our tangent line verifying that our derivative function value is correct. I hope you found this helpful.